Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Hope you guys have a great week. So we're back today to pretty much talk about Monster Hunter Rise. So the demo came out a couple of days ago and with me on, on this video today, I've got Dante and I've Hello. also got Edge with me from Edge Plays. We are all massive, massive Monster Hunter players. We played through World together, absolutely loved our experiences and we were super intrigued about Rise. So we're going to talk about that today and talk about the demo, which is available at the moment on the Switch, because obviously it's a Switch exclusive, and that's available, I think, until... Is it the 1st of February, guys? That's available. I think about that period, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the demo does stop early Feb. Yeah. So the demo itself is fairly decent. There are some tutorial missions on there for you to get to grips with some of the new mechanics, which are very useful. Highly recommend using them. And also there are two monsters that you can hunt beginner one and an intermediate one the beginner is great izuchi something like that something like that yeah uh, <laughs> that one's that names. one's not as memorable uh, but it's a good starting one but my favorite is the second one which is the mizu tsune zukune or whatever um i love the design of that monster it's so so beautiful in the background oh, cool. just in case you're interested we've got some gameplay footage that i captured just of us uh, taking on the second beast um, but we're going to talk about this today and our general impressions on it. So I'll kick off and then obviously Edge and Dante can jump in and chip in. So when I first was going into this, I wasn't especially like interested or especially looking forward to it. I will be fair. I w I'm a big Monster Hunter World fan, but I wasn't planning to pick up Rise. It was one I was kind of on the fence on. But after playing the demo, I'm on board. I'm totally on board with this game. And Mind has been changed. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing it, especially because I've played the demo with you guys, so I'm really looking forward to us getting a full a full squad. Hopefully we can get uh, Fish from Crack On Gaming to join us. Uh, we also have a new recruit as well, Danish, so hopefully he can join us too, <laughs> which will be awesome. Join us! Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it does seem like they've looked at Rise and they've taken a lot of what worked in Rise and what was really good in, in, in World, sorry, in world. and um, they've brought it into Rise, which I really like. So say, for example, the map, the, the way that the maps work. So I think in old games, they used to have zones and yes, correct. loading yeah. screens between. And was that the case with the monster as well? So like... Would the... Oh yeah, if it moved area, you'd have to run into the loading screen to chase it and <laughs> It That's just awful. really broke it up. Yeah, that really yeah, just break sucks. up the combat. So that is definitely one of the better things in world that they've that they've continued and kept in Rise, which is which is really great. Um, I uh, we got to see one map on the demo, uh, so we haven't got to see too much on it. But I like the design of it, and I also really like the verticality of the level design um, with the new mechanic. Was there anything else that they brought across from World that you guys want to talk about that maybe I've missed out? That's the big one. Um, quality of life stuff. For, for example, in the older Monster Hunter games, um, you would have finite uses of the pickaxe, bug capture net, yeah. whetstones. Um, so the things like you have unlimited use to strap in your blade, things where you didn't have to have to randomly carry things in your inventory, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, because when you're when you're gathering or when you're trying to keep your blade sharp, if you run out of stuff, you're kind of buggered. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was ra rather rather annoying because you couldn't even go mining or fishing without it. Mm. And now, actually, they've even improved over world. Now we don't have a fishing rod in the pack. We just walk up to a fishing pool, press mm. A, and we're fishing. Which is much much better. I think it's, Danish found so, that yeah. out, didn't he? We also have yeah. infinite kunai, which is really awesome. <laughs> Oh yes. Um, yeah, cause... yeah, which is good. We, you still have all your shortcuts and everything to get to your thing, and also your your directional things. So yeah, I think you are right. I think a lot of the quality of life stuff from World has definitely been brought into Rise, and it does definitely feel very natural that transition. It feels natural because I was expecting mm. when I jumped into Rise to 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 sort of have to get to grips with all the controls and all the mechanics again and get my buttons all mixed up and and <laughs> and take ages to actually get into the rhythm because when i first played monster hunter world's demo i actually found it really hard to get into initially i found it a bit confused even though the game is great the demo took me ages to actually get into all the buttons and it just seemed like there was too much information 
like overload yeah. and options. Um, but Rise, because I've played World, Rise very much does feel like a very natural progression to World. Um, and I like that. So it feels natural and I feel like confident, <laughs> like going into Rise, which is, which is kind of cool. I've come a long way. I'm a seasoned hunter now. Intermediate <laughs> hunter, not a beginner anymore. I'm not quite advanced. I'm not there yet. Um, obviously, there's some new mechanics that we want to quickly touch upon in, in Rise. So the two main ones are the Palamut. Palicos are back, which is awesome, as cute as ever. Um, you've got the Palamut, which is basically uh, one of your companions. You can use him to ride, uh, which does make traversing across the map so much quicker. You can also... So gather things you can climb up things with them as well um uh, which just makes even like climbing up vines and things like that tons quicker and then that just means you can get straight back into the fight a lot quicker um which is really cool i like the palamute and obviously the new wire bug mechanic which i will admit does take some getting used to um when i first started it i I found it really fiddly because I I love the clutch claw as you guys know in Monster Hunter World. I'm all about the freaking clutch claw, uh, where you can like clutch onto the side of monsters and like like knock them into walls. And I'm all about punishing that monster. <laughs> um, so when I first started the Y bug, it didn't feel weighty. It's very flighty. You're like flying all over the place, and I found it quite hard to connect hits with the beast to start off with. But after playing it a few missions, I did start to get to grips with it. And I do like how each of the weapons have their own two specific, unique, like, wire bug moves, you know? So, like, I think you've got the... If you hold down L2 or LT or whatever it is on the... ZL, is it? On the on the, on the Pro <laughs> Controller. ZL. Um, and then you press, like, A. That will do one... Or well, the top button, that will do one move. And then if you press... Uh, the is it B? I don't know what it is on the Pro Controller. Because X, X and A. X and A. Thank X is you. The top the, one that is oh, so confusing for me is that. Um, they'll do different moves. So for the for the long sword, if you press the uh, right hand side one, which is A, that does like a counter move. So you kind of get into this stance, and if the beast hits you, you do this really cool counter. Whereas the top one, which is X, that's like an aerial attack kind of thing. Um, what do you guys think of the Wyvern Rider thing? What are your thoughts on that? So it's 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 like took the mountain uh, mechanic from World mm -hmm. and just gone that bit further. Where it's like we're not just kind of constantly chipping away at its head while just on top of it, aggravating it. Yep. We're now able to kind of control where it goes exactly, um, use some of its moves even on other creatures and then you know just keep smacking into walls or doing big finishing moves on other monsters so it's it is definitely tricky to get used to that's why there's a tutorial for it yeah um play it a couple of times figured it out and went right so now when in the heat of battle it's uh you know it's quite cool doing. yeah so i'm quite yeah. enjoying it especially like that you've got more control over the beast whereas on in world when you mounted them it was like you were just along for the ride <laughs> and you were just basically <laughs> like chipping away at it <laughs> as much as you could do while dodging it until you could do your like move to bring it down so i do like the fact that like it allows you to be a little bit more strategic in terms of you know if you've got two monsters attacking each other or knocking it into wall or whatever it might be so i kind of like it so obviously let's talk a little bit about the combat and the weapons that we've been using so i've picked back up longsword um because that is that's my staple <laughs> that is my go-to weapon <laughs> and i will say that if you're a longsword user it feels very natural it's quite similar the same sort of spirit gauge and the same kind of like building that up and using your spirit attacks and your moves and your sheath sheath attack and all those kind of things. The only thing that's different is the helm splitter, which is my like favorite move, uh, where you have to do certain damage and then you knock up in the air and do this massive kind of swipe down. That is now connected to the wire bug um, and it does take a little getting used to. It's still there, but it's a little bit more strategic in, in how you kind of use it and, and that kind of thing. Um, and obviously your wire bugs, you can't just infinitely use them. They do, they are on a timer. 
Um, and I think you do have a minimum of two, don't you? And some of the moves will use two of them. Some of them will use one. So you have to really mm. pick and choose when you're using it. You can't just spam it. And I like that, you know? <laughs> what about you, Edgy? Do you want to talk a little bit about the combat and like the weapons that you've been using and what you think of the game and the combat and stuff? Yeah, sure. Um, so I used in the demo, I kind of tried out what I use, normally use in the game, mm -hmm. which was the dual blades. I also gave a go on the Switch Axe, I'm pretty sure it was. Mm. And I also used a light bow gun, heavy bow gun, the bow and arrow, and the lance. Oh, nice. You tried you seem a bit to of everything enjoy them, didn't you? That's fab. I did enjoy the guns, definitely. Um, if anyone's interested, if you look on the channel, we do have two blokes in the Kate or two blokes hunting monsters. You can see our weapon styles that we use there. Yeah. So it's nothing too different there. Um, I did enjoy the gunplay with the light bow gun a lot more this time. Yeah. Um, and I also like that with the wire bugs, you can get it to places where you've got a tactical advantage. Mm. So at one point I was on a rooftop where I could literally shoot at the monster, having full range of being able to hit it, mm. without having to worry about getting hit. Now there's a cool mechanic of this that we, we just briefly found out, is if the monster hits the building hard enough, the building will collapse. <laughs> Which I find quite good, because yeah. it sort of means that it's not cheap. Yeah. But it means that you've got a sort of time where you're placing yourself. Mm. It also means you can have really good coordination with the other party members because if you stand on a rooftop shooting at it and then it's out of range, you're then going to move somewhere else. Mm. Which with the wire, wire bugs aren't that, isn't too bad. But it's nice to sort of, it, it sort of works with making some sort of plan and strategy. Heavy bow gun gives you more damage, but again, the problem there is you've got less movement. Yeah. So you've got to know which. The light bow gun was definitely felt a lot of fun. Um, Lance, good laugh again. I enjoyed that. Remembering the shield and, and the pokiness of the poke poke. <laughs> um, <laughs> dual blades felt fun again uh, with the demon mode and the, and the striking of them. Mm. Um, visually, for the Switch, the game looked, it looked really nice. And that was my main concern, especially with combat, because... Um, with having different button layouts sometimes, you think, is this going to work well as, as the PS4 version yeah. of World? Yeah. And uh, to his credit, it, it looks fine. Work, it looks and works fine. Yeah. Um, Palamut combat is quite fun with it because obviously you can use it to run around. I know you and I uh, ran around it. <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed causing doing that. massive confusion. Running, running circles around the beast, confusing it. Yeah, tiring um, out. That was fun. Which I find quite fun. Uh, with, the, with the wire bug and the jumping on the monster. Um, it's probably not a mechanic I'm going to use very much at first, mm. really because it's one of those ones that I have a bit of a hard time getting used to. But eventually I'll probably have a, I'll just hit it up an epiphany and just go into it working it really well. Mm. Um, one thing that I did notice was that we only have one camp again. So unless they are, I am missing, unless it's just a demo. I would think there might probably be other camps camp. that you can unlock possibly on the map. Yeah, because they would have well, only had a restricted ability, maybe. When we played on the Wii one, the Wii U one, you only had normally, most occasions, one camp. Ah. So that's not, it's not a negative thing, because mm. it means well, we will have multiple maps. Um, but the map size does feel kind of going back towards that, small. which I think is fine. Mm. Having those small little areas to fight in mm. is great. Smaller map, um, but more vertical, maybe. So yeah, more versatile as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, looking at the visuals of it at the moment, um, and the aesthetics, the armors that we got to pick, none of them looked very familiar mm. to what I'd seen before. So a lot of them are new armor sets. I think maybe, bar there was one from Try that I think Fish was using, right. uh, which I remembered from then. And that's an inflatable, it's not a Jagras, but it's something else. Mm. Okay. I need to remember its name again. Oh, okay. So there are, there, are, there are monsters that are returning again, yeah. like the Raffian and I think the Mitsu, Mitsu we fought before. Mm. Uh, that one we... Um, that's from the previous game. Jaggy things as well. Yeah. For me, for me there's still, unless it's, it was in World, it'll be new, so that's kind of cool. Oh, cool, um, yeah. What did you think, Dante, of the combat then, on, on yours? Um, yeah, I generally enjoyed it so um with the wire bug edition you mostly your left triggers got changed up from world mm -hmm. um 
so I knew straight away. I, I mostly mained the Insect Glaive on um, Monster Hunter World, yeah. so I decided not to choose that for Rise because it's like I, I want to be able to go back to that game and not get mixed up with some controls. Yeah. Because there won't be a wire bug, I'll have like different <laughs> different stuff going off. Um, so I actually um, got into the hunting horn, surprisingly, because that was a bit of a fiddly weapon in World, but they've streamlined it for this version. So it was like, oh, this is quite accessible now. I I might use it to buff my friends and do crazy bard like disco moves and. Um, <laughs> and just bash the thing over the head with a guitar. Yeah, it's all good. Cool. Um, and yeah, I, I liked other little additions and that. The, the fact that we've now got like a, uh, a fast travel shortcut on the world map now, mm. that that's all goodly. Um, and also, although I can't see me really playing it in handheld mode, it looks nice handheld. I mean, I, I know it doesn't look as pretty overall than the, on, on World, mm. but um, it's it, it's because it is playable handheld and it looks damn shiny. Mm. And uh, yeah, I, I I liked it. So because I picked a new weapon, I was complete. I was completely down with it. I loved all the extra shortcuts, all the little bits of um, all the little perks you got, and. Um, ways of doing things just that little bit faster than the previous games yeah, yeah i feel like it. maybe this development team on this is i think it is a different development team to the team that worked on world but it definitely you can feel and tell that they've communicated with them or they've learned a lot from world or that you know they've done a little bit of crossover research kind of thing you can definitely tell that you can see it you know in, in the dna yeah. um which, which yeah. is really cool um, like um, such such as like you know just the gathering points, the mining nodes, um, like pickaxe into them or gathering bones. In in world, you had to press A, wait a bit, press it again, or you had to hold down the button and wait for three animations. Mm-hmm. Now you just press A once and bam, you've got all three items and you can crack on. It seems much. It's sped up. Yeah. It's so it's less less dull. Yeah, less gathering mm. kind of thing. More more combating maybe. Maybe that's the vibe that they're going for. So I really enjoyed the the demo and uh, yeah, definitely I'm going to pick this up. I think day one. Um, I have decided. I think I'm going to play ma- a male character. I think I'm going to customize and create a male hunter because I I want yeah. I want to see all the different armor sets. Even if it's like they have some familiar armor sets from World. That I want it to feel like a different experience, um, so mm. I think I'm going to choose a male character, and I am intrigued to see how good the customization is in Rise, in terms of whether you can like fully customize your character, which I assume you would be able to do, but how far you can customize your Palico and your Palamut as well. Well, so it does beg the question: how much? Because, I mean, on the PS4 version, though a lot of it was free, a lot of the customization was behind paid DLC. Because yeah. you could buy individual outfits or clothing items or hair pieces. Mm. I don't know if Nintendo will have the same approach. I mean, they'll, have a, they'll probably have a season pass where they'll have, Game like, additional pass. monsters being coming Game out. Game Battle Pass or something. Well, <laughs> Nintendo seems to be doing a lot more of that recently. Yeah. I mean, they've done it with Smash Brothers. They've done it with Fire Emblem. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see what they do with this game. Can uh, I see if they did it for, like, Capcom monsters or something? Well, Monster Hunter World did it with ice. Well, they 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 did it quite smart. Where the only thing that you paid for was more cosmetic, yeah, like the hairstyles, uh, like the the, the stickers, the the emotes. Mm. Which yeah. is good because it doesn't Those affect sort of your things. enjoyment of the game. Because it would be really you know, really it, sucky if you put certain yeah. monsters and maps behind paywalls. So I don't think they'll Especially go down. Especially multiplayer, route. it wouldn't work. Yeah, no. I, th- I think hopefully they will have learned a lot because because uh, w- World did a lot of community events and things as well, mm. um, and community challenges, you know, stuff like that. So I think they're going to have all that in Rise, or at least I hope they will do. I like the more Japanese aesthetic of it. I, I really like the the kind of the art style and the idea of it. Um, so I'll be intrigued to see how how that feels. I hope your handler is not as irritating as your handler was in world because that girl just 
got in the way like all the time and got us in trouble um so hey ho maybe that's part of the part of the game they have to be irritating maybe that's what it is um but i really oh, do, i do really it. enjoyed the demo yeah it were really good um and i'm definitely going to be picking up the uh i think i'm going to pick up the game day one and i might even do a full-on review of it and um, probably we could live stream some of it make for some good live stream yeah. content i think for our wednesday co-ops maybe um, I just hope when we play through the story, it is a lot easier than World, so you can just progress through the story naturally rather than having to wait for each of you to see the cutscene separately uh, before mm. being able to jump in, because that, that was kind of irritating that in was World. That um, So hopefully that will be better um, and be more... I hope they've learned from that, because I think that was one definitely one of the biggest issues that people had with world world story progression cop was bef infinitely better than try yeah right ultimate okay so maybe because that i mean it, that was really bad really? you would be like there's no way that could work <laughs> wow. and dante can definitely can take, agree with that maybe they're yeah. just getting better with each edition <laughs> maybe that that's coming yeah. out but it's definitely feels, they are learning a lot. yeah and i think this definitely even because it's on switch i mean the choice for it only to be on switch is quite an interesting one so i feel like this is more like a stopping gap between monster hunter world 2 i feel like that's what this is to to keep mm. monster hunter gamers happy and to keep them hungry so they'll pick up world obviously when <laughs> 2 when it comes out but yeah generally really enjoyed it if you are interested in monster hunter world uh rise and you do have a nintendo switch absolutely pick up the demo guys check it out have a go at it um if you've got any questions mm -hmm. about anything then please post those in the comment section below and obviously we'll we'll get back to you on those um but this was just generally our first impressions on the demo really enjoyed it i want to actually jump back in and try out all the different weapons to see if there's any other that i might like <laughs> like to try something different <laughs> um in rise um and we'll, we'll kind of go from there all right then guys and girls so well thank you so much for tuning in to the video and uh, joining us this evening i hope you guys found this first impressions video useful and and entertaining and enjoyed the gameplay in the background as well obviously i hope you guys have a good week um i hope you're staying safe wherever you are in the world take care and as always happy gaming bye guys johnny bye